Okay, so what do you wear to school? Cargo pants, sweatpants, hoodies. That's cool, they look good, but chances are you're dressing like everybody else. Not saying that's a bad thing, but if you do wanna dress better than everybody else, let's go over some things that'll help you do exactly that. Let's start off with something that everybody has and everybody needs. In school, everybody has a backpack. But what most people don't realize is a backpack is an accessory to your outfit. And of course, for any accessory, I recommend investing more money so you can get a higher quality accessory, especially because this is gonna be something that you're wearing every single day. So it does make sense to spend a little bit more money for higher quality pieces. Now, that being said, you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on expensive bags because if your high school was anything like mine was, everyone was wearing MCM bags. They spent all this money just to look corny. So you don't have to make that same mistake. There are plenty of backpacks out there that are not as expensive and look great. But one thing that I wanna talk about real quick is if you don't have the money, then don't stress about it. These things are not essential. Your life isn't gonna be over if you can't get the bag that you want. At the end of the day, I wore Jansport bags, I wore Herschel bags to school, and I like to think that I came out just fine. But if you wanna spend that extra money, I definitely recommend getting a leather bag backpack now i got my first leather backpack right after i graduated high school and i really wish that i did get it earlier but again it's not the end of the world it doesn't really matter but every time i carry that backpack i do feel like it looks a lot better now the one that i have is a leather one from coach it's in the color black now you don't have to get the color black even though in my opinion it does look the cleanest and of course it's the most versatile but as long as you stick with a versatile color that goes with the majority of your outfits you'll be okay Okay, so yes, obviously wear what you like, wear what makes you feel comfortable in, but sometimes you can be a little too comfortable. Look, I'll be the first one to tell you that I love wearing hoodies and oversized clothes just because it's very comfortable. I'm not saying you have to be uncomfortable, but you should definitely step out of that comfort zone so that way you could dress a little bit better. Especially if you don't wanna dress like everybody else. If you wanna stand out, here are a few pieces that I really think will help you do that. So when I was in school, I got a lot of compliments whenever I wore things like button down shirts or Oxford shirts, anything like that. I got so many compliments with this because not a lot of other guys in my age group were wearing this. Now, you don't have to wear this every day. You could still wear the things that you feel comfortable in. Again, I mentioned hoodies earlier. If you want to wear hoodies, you could definitely do that. Like I said, I still wear hoodies to this day and literally any other fashion influencer is wearing hoodies. So obviously it's not a bad option, but what I will say about hoodies, don't get just any cheap hoodie out there. Hoodies are a statement piece and with any statement piece, again, try to find those higher quality options. Now for me personally, I love my hoodies to have a drop shoulder, to have a little scrunch in the bottom. And if it's a heavy duty hoodie, chances are it's gonna have a lot more structure to it because those cheap hoodies that you find at H&M, those hoodies typically don't hold up very well, especially after a few washes. So if you wanna invest a little bit more money, I have a whole video based on the best hoodies, but wait till after the video to check that out. Some more pieces that I feel like not enough younger guys wear are gonna be pieces like sweaters, not sweatshirts, they're completely different. Nicer jackets, now what I mean by this, my two favorite ones that I usually wear, especially when I was in school, are gonna be a suede jacket and a corduroy jacket. Now these are pretty casual, so it won't make you look like you're trying too hard, but definitely a lot more elevated than the jackets that most guys are wearing. Now pieces like this are a little bit more sophisticated, so it's gonna make you look a little bit more mature, which in my opinion, that is a really good look to go for when you're on the younger side. It's gonna help you be taken a little bit more serious, which again, it doesn't really matter too much when you're in high school, but in my opinion, it's just good to start these habits early now that doesn't mean you have to dress like a substitute teacher every single day still have your casual things like i said hoodies i do like my oversized pieces i know i bagged on it earlier but yes i do wear oversized i like hoodies i like sweatshirts trust me i still do follow the trends that doesn't mean every single trend but we'll talk about that a bit later All right, so we pretty much got the main accessory out the way, which is gonna be backpacks. But let's be honest, again, that is an essential one. Let's talk about some that aren't so essential, but will still go such a long way. So non-essential accessories are gonna be pieces that you can just throw on your outfit to make it look a lot better. In my personal opinion and my personal experience, when I was in school, the first accessory that I started off with was a pendant necklace. And I think this is a great place to start, especially if you go with a minimal one, you're not drawing too much attention. It's something very slight that goes such a long way because trust me, those little things do go such a long way. At least that's what I like to personally think. With a simple necklace, your outfits will look a little bit more elevated. I think accessories are such a good way to add depth to your outfit. So that's a good place to start. You could also start stacking it with a chain. So a chain and a necklace, that looks really good in my opinion. Rings are also cool if you're comfortable with that. I know when I was younger, I had the hardest time getting comfortable with that. One thing that I really wish that I was more comfortable with was wearing sunglasses and watches when I was in school. I had the hardest time getting comfortable with watches and sunglasses for whatever reason. I thought people were 
would judge me. I thought people would like to say things. I just thought that I would look like I'm trying too hard. But at the end of the day, guarantee you, nobody's really gonna notice. And if they do notice, no one's really gonna say anything. So for one, I wish I wore sunglasses, especially when it was bright outside. Now, I'm not saying that the sun caused severe damage to my eyes because at the end of the day, I'm still young, but I do understand that over years upon your life, the sun can cause a lot of damage to your eyes. So wearing sunglasses can prevent that. Also, if you didn't get enough sleep earlier on the day, let's say you're up late studying for an exam. I would usually stay up late playing video games with some friends. So if you're in the same position, you woke up, you have bags under your eyes, your eyes are red. Sunglasses are gonna be such a quick and simple way to fix that. And when it comes to watches, again, it's just a nice little piece to help you look a lot more mature and be taken a lot more serious. Now, I love watches, but my watches are a little bit pricey. So you don't have to feel like you have to go drop a ton of money on watches. Go with the Casio, go with the G-Shock. These are very affordable watches that are great places to start off with. Now let's talk about shoes. So it's about to be two years since I graduated. So if I'm being honest, I don't really know what most people are wearing nowadays when it comes to high school. But if I were to give an educated guess, I would definitely think of Nike Dunks, Air Force Ones, and maybe probably some Vans. Now these are great options. You could definitely wear these and your outfits will look good. But if you want to stand out, there are plenty of better options. I still think New Balances is gonna be one of the best options out there. I'm such a big fan of the 550s, the 327s, the 574s, and there are plenty of other New Balances that I don't personally own, but I definitely recommend. Now you can go with a hype sneaker, like something like Jordan 1s. That is definitely a good option. The reason why I say it's a good option not because it's trending, but because I am a fan of the Jordan 1s. Now, that goes to show that I don't follow it just because it's a trend, but because I personally like it. Now, that's what I wanted to talk about because there's a lot of younger guys out there that wear things just because it's a trend, just because they want to fit in. Look, I know the feeling. You want to fit in and you want to wear what's cool. If you don't feel comfortable in it, then don't wear it. You should really only feel things that you're comfortable with and that will make you more confident. At the same time, there's a good balance of things because I definitely recommend that you should experiment with things. Otherwise, you're just going to wear the same thing every day and yes that gets very boring that's something that i did in high school so i definitely recommend experimenting with new things but some other shoes that i think are a great option i just got a pair of adidas gazelles and i just gotta say they're gonna be some of my go-to shoes so i definitely recommend at least checking them out if there is one thing that I genuinely do wish that I started wearing earlier, it's going to be fragrances. I wish I can go tell my freshman self to start wearing fragrances. Now look, I'm not saying that when you spray something that smells good on you, a lot of people are gonna be running to you because you're so attractive. That's not the case, but let's be real. If you do smell bad, no one is gonna want to be around you. So make sure you smell good. Of course, there's a balance to this. You don't wanna be so overwhelming that people get a headache around you. So especially for something like school, I definitely recommend something light and fresh. If you want the most affordable option, Nautica Voyage will be that. Some of my personal favorites, especially right now that we're going into the spring, something light and fresh would be Dolce & Gabbana K. I like Blue Le Chanel. I like Hugo Boss The Scent. These are some of my favorite ones that I'm gonna be wearing. So again, I definitely recommend just at least checking them out. Now, every time I make a video about school, I get questions asking, what if I have a uniform? I never went to a school that has a uniform, so I can't really tell you for sure. But if you could at least add accessories to your outfit, it's gonna look a lot better. I don't really know what you have room to play around with, but, but whatever they do give you to play around with, experiment with different things. So if you could choose your own shoes, start playing around with shoes that you, that you personally think you'd be comfortable in and look cool. Again, I just really can't say for certain, I personally never went to a school like that. But I mentioned earlier that I love hoodies. So if you want to know the best fitting hoodie, I have a video specifically about that. But other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video. Later.